Hey everybody, it's Bruce, and it's another shop update. So, this week has been just about working on bikes. Working on bikes, working on bikes, working on bikes. And uh, mostly it's been these bikes over here that were going for charity. Actually, I had uh, three of them, and one of them is going to charity, but the other two aren't. And the reason why is because the uh, two children's bikes are just in such bad condition, I don't want to send them over to Africa because I'm afraid something's going to go wrong with them and they aren't going to have the parts because they're kids bikes to really repair them and they'll just end up being litter garbage. So I'm going to keep the two children's bikes and probably make one or two uh, bike trailers out of those. But the adult mountain bike, which is actually a pretty good bike, it's going to be uh, shipped off on Wednesday. Well, not shipped to Africa, but shipped to France, and then shipped to Africa. Um, that one turned out pretty good. I rode it around, uh, not that much. I Maybe I put 50 kilometers on it in total. But I ended up putting a new back tire on it that I got from uh, the store. And uh, just going through it and making sure it worked pretty decently. So that's done. And so now after that, I'm, now that I'm finished with these, uh, this charity bike and these other bikes going through them, I'm going to start working on my mountain bike and it needs a couple of things. The bottom bracket I'm pretty sure is shot. It's starting to creak a lot and the one of the pedals, the bearings I think are going bad on it too. So actually today I'm going to break into the uh, pedal and see if I can do anything about that. Um, that's about it for my mountain bike. My wife has two bikes which both need a little bit of maintenance and even my other commuting bike needs a bit of maintenance so none of that's really worth videotaping and making a, a some kind of video about except for one thing I'm thinking about on the uh, on the commuting bike uh, might be a little bit interesting because it's a uh, I think it's an interesting way of solving a problem well we'll see how it works I mean sometimes I start to record a video and then it just becomes really boring and stupid but uh, I think maybe that one will be interesting so anyway um, the bikes I've been working on and I'm only about midway through so I need another probably week of bike work before I can actually do any kind of woodwork or building videos or anything like that. But um, other than the bikes I did do a couple of little things around the shop and let me show you that. So this is the couple of things I did this week. I mounted my, well first I moved my uh, grinder from the little I don't know what you call it, ledge table over there and I decided to put it on this I also don't know what you call this <laughs> this work dresser, I don't know so I decided to mount it on here and I don't know why I did it the way I did but I just thought it might be interesting I don't know, I didn't I guess the reason is I didn't really have screws that were the right length that wouldn't go all the way through this so what I did is I it's kinda of hard to take off but I mounted some uh, dowel pins on the top and then it just basically sits on them sits you know in them of course it's not down there you know strong as it would be if it uh, would have been screwed on but I think it's really fine it you know it already has some weight itself and now it has those pins so that's gonna be perfectly fine so I did that and then the other thing I did is I just really sloppily took this uh, piece of wood, um, this piece of pine, and uh, drilled some holes on it with the drill press, glued and screwed it onto the, I don't know what to call it again, um, work thing. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, glued and screwed it on there. I really like these, and I really like this little table. It's so handy. Like I'm, you know, adding things to it all the time. I have a whole bunch of stuff over there. So, this is great. Um, oh, and also some more exciting news. Kind of annoying news, but I'm still happy about it. And that is that I found my calipers that I thought were in Florida. So I didn't need to buy the other ones that I just bought about three weeks ago. These were here the whole time. And these are actually, I mean, I know they're not, uh, you know, super professional or nothing, but they're better than the ones I bought. I used to work in a machine shop and I used calipers all day long. And so I can see that these aren't quite the same quality, I don't think, as the ones I worked with uh, at the shop. 
but uh, these feel pretty good. They're a lot better than the ones I just bought. And the good thing about these are they do have the uh, back gauge, the bottom gauge. That's really handy for measuring the depth of things, you know. And also these have a resolution of 0 0.01 millimeters, unlike the other, which is just 0 0.1 millimeters. So these are much more precise. Also, they have the lock back here, which is kind of handy sometimes. So you can set it to a specific size and then lock it. And then, you know, that just, it's useful. And what else is better? Well, that's about it, I suppose. Oh, yeah, one other thing. I wasn't correct. I said on those other calipers, let me grab them. These ones. I had said that I had said that these don't go to sleep by themselves, but it's not true. They do go to sleep by themselves. It just takes a little while. So now I have two calipers. This one I still need to get a battery for because it's been sitting for, you know, nearly five years, so the battery's dead. The other thing I found that I kind of forgot I had is this. I love this thing, it's super handy. I was messing with Arduino a few years ago quite a bit in electronics and I was using this thing a lot. So I forgot that I had it actually and I found it at the same place as I found my calipers. So I'm happy to have that. Okay, that's about it for Lost and Found. Let me tell you what I'm planning to do in the next week or two. The stuff I'm thinking about. Uh, the next is to make a second workbench because now that my drill press is up here. It's occupied almost all of my workbench area. So that is kind of kind of a higher priority a little bit to get another workbench. The next thing I've been thinking about is the bike trailer and now maybe bike trailers. So I'm thinking about maybe making a big one for hauling big stuff and a smaller one just for, you know, some groceries or something like that now that I have four wheels to work with. Um, I'm thinking about rebuilding the bike stand because I just don't use it that much where I have to take the front wheel off and it's just sitting on the bottom bracket shell. So I'm thinking about trying to make one that actually grips on the seat post. Um, that might be a little bit later, maybe a couple weeks or something, or a few weeks. Uh, the other thing that I've been wanting to do is make some kind of collector for all the dust that comes off of the table saw. That's medium priority because it does make a huge mess. So I might do that pretty soon. So that's it for updates. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do any more videos until the next shop update because uh, I have a lot of things going on this week that uh, aren't shop related, totally outside of shop and this type of fun stuff. So uh, hopefully I can do something, but if I can't, I'll see you guys next shop update. Okay, bye. Oh, and also, I almost forgot, I have an Instagram account and I've been using it almost every day. I really like that format of getting like small things out there. It's not only shop stuff, it's also other things that I do, mountain biking, whatever. But uh, if you like Instagram and you want to follow me, go ahead and check out the uh, description below. Alright, bye.